Hello, my name is Geoffrey Spinks and I'm a senior professor at the Australian Institute for Innovative Materials at the University of Wollongong. My research is concerned with the development of artificial muscles. These are fascinating materials that seek to emulate the function of natural muscle and have the potential to have a major impact in the fields of medicine and robotics. Artificial muscles are materials that change their size or shape when given a stimulus like heat or a pulse of electricity. Over the years, we've developed many different types of artificial muscles that bend, rotate or contract in length. We've also developed a number of prototypes like a robotic fish, a micro mixer for fluids and tiny tools like tweezers. Because we can make artificial muscles as thin fibres or films, they are especially well suited to microscale devices. But why would we want to make miniature machines? Well, one application area is in medicine, where surgeons use instruments like these to conduct minimally invasive surgery. We'd like to reduce the size of these instruments by attaching artificial muscles at the tool end, for example, in these scissors. That way, the instrument can be deployed deep inside the body using a flexible tube or a catheter. Robotic systems also could use miniature motors, for example, in the development of more dexterous robotic grippers. Our hands contain more than two dozen muscles that all contribute to the incredible range of motion. Robotic systems use electric motors like these, which are bulky and heavy, so it's a challenge to fit enough motors into a robotic gripper with the same dexterity as a human hand. For better robotic and prosthetic systems, we need powerful miniature motors like artificial muscles. Of course, tiny muscles exist everywhere in nature, allowing all sorts of small creatures to fly, jump, burrow and swim. So to break the walls to artificial muscles for miniature devices, we should look to nature for inspiration. In our most recent work, we were inspired by the process by which DNA packs within the cell nucleus. DNA is a long molecule, more than one metre in length for you and I, yet through a process called supercoiling, it is packed down to just a few tens of micrometres in diameter. We wondered whether supercoiling could also be used to produce a high stroke artificial muscle. So using ordinary textile fibres and a water loving polymer, we produced composite artificial muscle fibres that could contract by more than 90% in length. When swollen in water, these muscles produced supercoils, which looks a little bit like a tangled garden hose. Our best performing supercoiling samples generated a mechanical work that exceeded natural muscle by more than 36 times. Our artificial muscle fibres are easily attached to miniature devices. They are cheap and easy to fabricate. Our main challenge now is to make them go faster. We'd also like to use electrical input so we could make fully dry, battery powered artificial muscles. And of course, we're always on the lookout for new applications. Thank you.